Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here, and colors are pretty important to us, right? But when it comes to our devices, for the most part, they really don't come in that many colors, maybe one, two, or three colors at the most. Uh, when every Apple laptop in the world is silver, the same color, every Apple keyboard in the world is silver, every trackpad, every Magic Mouse in the world, they're all the same color, silver. So the company Colorware is doing something about this, uh, colorizing your devices, but not just with a skin that you can put on and then peel off. This is kind of taking it to the next level. This is a Colorware Custom MacBook Pro. Uh, I picked all the colors, as you can see here, you'd probably guess that. And Colorware has this design studio, kind of like Moto Maker, but for a ton of different gadgets. They have headphones, uh, mice, keyboards, uh, laptops, tablets, phones, all kinds of stuff. And if you've already bought one of these devices, you can pay to have it colored and send it in and they'll get painting. Or you can pay for a brand new one to get that paint treatment. But yeah, this is legitimately painted in your color of choice, not just the skin. So here's what I punched in on the design studio on Colorware's site. Pretty simple, everything matte black, but with a cherry red hinge for an accent. And as it's arrived here, it looks exactly like that. Everything matte black with that beautiful cherry red hinge. I think that's a sick accent color. You guys already know I like red and black. Now, there are some parts here that are still silver, like the inside of the MagSafe charger and the headphone jack and the SD card reader, stuff like that didn't get painted, which is smart because they wouldn't work if they were covered in paint. And that's because of their super detailed deconstruction and painting process. So with this MacBook Pro, for example, when you send it into Colorware, they actually completely take it apart. Uh, they look at the colors on your order and then paint and coat each of the parts individually before then putting everything back together again. They actually reconstruct the MacBook in their studio. The only thing you see here on my custom MacBook that you can't get in the Colorware Design Studio is the custom MKBHD logo on the back. This is an additional option they have, usually for like companies who wanna bring a branded laptop for presentations or something like that. It's called the custom logo replacement. And they actually disassemble behind the display where Apple has the Apple logo cut out and they will machine cut a custom logo or text of your choice. And you can even work with their engineers to get the backlight to work if you still want it to glow when it turns on. I did, and sure enough, when you turn this laptop on, it glows. I think this looks absolutely, ridiculously, insanely good. And I think it's safe to say this is a legit MKBHD edition MacBook after the surgery. So when you get your laptop back, everything else in the packaging is the same as a regular MacBook. Uh, you get the same accessories and everything, plus an added info sticker from Colorware, and everything works the exact same way. It's still the MacBook Pro that you paid for. Uh, I'm basically in love with this now. So the one thing that remains to be seen is how durable this kind of stuff will be. Uh, it's obviously painted on, so it's permanent, not like a temporary sticker. And that's part of the reason I didn't go with like a Ferrari red, bright painted laptop because you know that's really cool after like a week but it's permanent so a week later you have to go to class to take notes and you're like oh god i have a bright red laptop so i did go with a more classy i think understated more tuxedo black looking design but again the durability is what's going to matter here because if you scratch a silver apple laptop there's more silver underneath no big deal but if you scratch this black painted apple laptop how many layers of black are there before you get to silver again and you can really see the damage and how bad does that look? Obviously the logo reconstruction is something very unique and from me looking at the, the materials that the logo is made of, it looks pretty solid and it doesn't look like it's gonna break anytime soon or fall apart. Uh, it's really precisely cut and it matches exactly the logo that I provided for them, so that's really cool. But again, it's gonna be interesting to see how long this kind of paint lasts and whether or not it scratches easily. Also, for those of you wondering about Colorware as a company, I first found them when looking for a black version of the Apple keyboard, as oddly specific as that is. And after I got it from Colorware, I, it was, you know, it naturally showed up in the background of videos, it showed up in the setup tour project. Uh, so people kept asking about it. So I reached out to them and we did this custom MacBook Pro project and I think it turned out pretty well. They also do a ton of other custom devices like I mentioned, ranging from the Magic Trackpad or the Magic Mouse customized to Beats headphones. Those are the, the least expensive of the customs, 
ranging to you know a complete custom computer which they have to disassemble and paint and reassemble so that's a much more expensive process and you'll see that difference on their site and then the the top of the line you know custom logo replacement which is literally machine cutting the logo you provide for them into the metal uh, and backlighting it which is an engineering feat in itself but you know you get to work one-on-one -on -one with their engineers their artists their designers and that ends up looking pretty badass. So there you go guys, thumbs up for an MKBHD edition MacBook Pro, I think it looks pretty sweet. Also, if you guys go to the Colorware site and you customize something that looks pretty sweet also, take a screenshot of it, tweet it at me, and I'll probably retweet a couple of my favorites. Either way, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.